Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have a matrix space XD, which is connected F defined from X to Z. Z is a with usual matrix that is continuous function. Then we have to conclude about F. Let us start with a given information. I have already written here. X is a connected matrix space and the second information is that function which is defined from X to Z that is a continuous function. We know that continuous image of connected set is connected. So that's why we can write here implies F of X is connected subset connected subset of Z. But we know that Singleton sets are only connected subsets of Z. Actually, in R with usual metric, okay, real numbers with usual metric, intervals and singleton sets both are connected subsets of R. But intervals cannot be possible in Z. So that's why singleton sets are only connected subsets of Z. So let me write here, but singleton sets, singleton sets are only connected subsets of Z, okay, connected subsets of Z. So therefore, F of X is a singleton set, okay, so it is a singleton set, since it is a connected subset of Z and singleton sets are only connected subsets. So therefore, F of X is a singleton set, therefore, F of X will be a single element, C, get it? So actually what is happening, you can see here, X is a connected set and there is only one point C. So all elements are mapping towards C. That means all elements are moving towards C. So therefore, what can we see? Therefore, F is constant function. Okay, F is constant function. So that means if you have any function which is from X to Z, which is continuous, then that function should be constant function. Very important result we have got. So this example is over here. Okay, but instead of z instead of set of integers if you have a set of natural numbers then also same logic we can apply and we will have yes that function f is a constant function okay at a if you replace z by n then also it will be true or if you replace n by y it is a discrete metric then also same logic is applicable and again you will have f is a constant function or if it is a finite set okay finite set it will work li like a discrete metric so if y is a finite set, then also, and if you have the remaining information same, then also our conclusion will be f is a constant function. Okay, that means if codomain is z, if codomain is natural number, if codomain is discrete metric, or if codomain is a finite set, then also our conclusion is same. The function is a constant function. Make a screenshot of it and then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.